This is the Spin City 500 watt bicycle. And this is just a quick tutorial on the controller. If you notice the controller uh, is smaller for this bike, it has a small screen. And then above the screen, it has on this orange button on off. Below the screen, there's another button. This is the select button. And then on the bevel portion, there, there is a, um, a rocker switch up and down. So those are the, the three buttons up and down here, and then select button here underneath the screen and on button. Now to get to the main menu, it's a pretty quick sequence. You're gonna hit the on button and immediately hold down the select button. So let's try that. Turn on, turn on, Spin City app. Then hold down this button immediately for about three seconds and it will send you into the main menu. And this is where you can set it up. Um, so notice that once you have this choice here on your screen, you can use this toggle button, the up down toggle button on the beveled portion of the switch to select. So if I hit down here on the toggle, we'll scroll through, we'll scroll through this menu. And if I hit up, we'll scroll back. Let's start with, uh, let's go down to units first. I think your, your bike is gonna uh, have metric units when it arrives to you. If you're in the US, you may, you may wanna set that to miles rather than kilometers. So get unit here as uh, the cursor's on unit and then use this select switch here. I'll push this and we'll go into units. Your choice here, you're in exit. If you hit, net, if you hit select now, you'll just go back, but toggle down to where it says miles and then hit select and you'll select either kilometers or miles those are your choice so if you see kilometers and you want miles hit select until it says miles and then use the up toggle here to go back to exit and then hit the select button to go back to the previous menu which was units okay now i'm going to toggle down here to go to wheel <clears throat> this is the wheel size of your bike the spin city bikes are 28 inch wheels just make sure that the, that's set correctly. So hit select here when it says wheel, and it is already at 28 inches, but notice that if it's not, you can toggle the up down to select the size of wheel that you have. There's a variety of wheel sizes, but you're gonna want 28 inch for this bike, and then hit select. If you're not sure, look at the tire, because this the uh, tire size is gonna show uh, the wheel size as well. Uh, password, I don't need one. Auto off, this determines how long the display is on before it turns itself off. Uh, the speed, this is a speed limiter. So I'll hit select here and notice that you can select a speed limit anywhere from 15 kilometers an hour to 60. And if I keep scrolling through, you can select whatever speed you want. I kind of just gonna set this at maximum, uh, 60 kilometers per hour. Obviously that's just a limit. If you stop pedaling, you'll slow down. So. <laughs> This is a, I guess it's a safety feature for those people who want to make sure that your motor is not going to drive you any faster than a certain speed. So keep going to down, the down here, and you're going to get to the second half of the menu, which is the battery information. Uh, on this menu, go down to the bottom where it says voltage, hit select, and you just want to make sure that the voltage of your system matches the voltage of your battery. I checked the battery, this battery is 48 volts. So it's set correctly, but if it's not, use your toggle. You know, and you can set, select either, it looks like 36 volt or 48 volt. The Spin City 500 uh, uses a 48 volt battery. So hit select there. And then I'm going to toggle, again, using this up toggle here, till we get all the way to the top of the menu. When it, hit, when it says exit, hit enter, and you're back to your run screen. So this is uh, the screen that you'll be seeing when you ride the bicycle. Uh, it's going to show you in the big numbers here. This is how fast you're going in miles per hour and how many miles you've traveled below that and your battery state. The other thing on this screen at the very top is the level of assist. So when you use this toggle down here, if you toggle up, not the down, but up, if you hit the up, you'll go to increasing levels of assist, two, three, and four. I think the four is the maximum level of assist you can get from your motor. If you're, I'm using the down now to go back. So if you're in zero, there's no assist at all. It's just you riding the bike with your pedals. If you're on the street and it's flat, maybe one or two is plenty of assist for you. If you hit a hill and you want a little more help, go to three. And if it's a big hill, <laughs> then just go ahead and give yourself maximum assist. 
but this is something that you can easily toggle whenever you're riding the bike, just with this, this up and down at the bottom. So you select your level of assist as you go. The other thing to consider here is that the light, uh, there's a light on the front, obviously, of the bicycle. And so to turn that on, uh, use the top arrow on your, uh, on your toggle, but hold it down. And when you hold it down, you'll turn on the light. And when you hold it down again, you'll turn off the light. Just hold it down for about three seconds. And that's uh, the basic function of the controller on the Spin City 500 bicycle.